Hi there everyone, welcome along. In today's video, we're gonna be talking a little bit about this company right here, AXL Advanced, fairly new company to the sort of gear market. Basically, I wanted to look at them today because they are doing some stuff that I would do if I started a gear company. Um, and I was quite intrigued by a lot of their offerings. So I picked something up here just as an example, something that's useful to me. And I'm going to take a quick look over it. Now, this is the first spear uh, placard adapter from AXL. Uh, obviously, if you're watching this, there's a fairly good chance you have either a first spear plate carrier or you've got something like a Crudge APC, AVS, something like that. Obviously, they're popular, good plate carriers, you know, very high quality, all that good stuff. But cry in first spear. Uh, you know, there's people, there's changes to these PCs that people want to make. They want to be able to take their, like, Spiritus placards, for example. They want to mount them on. And there are companies that obviously do offer plate carriers with that functionality, but then maybe they're missing out on something else. Obviously, the, the big brands are Crown First Spear, um, big military contracts, a lot of American SF and, and uh, our SF, actually, they, they use these brands. Um, a lot of demand for upgrades for them and that's where axl comes in as i say this is just an example this is the the first beer adapter that i've picked up but i would uh, urge you to check out the axl website because they have upgrades for loads of different stuff and not even just um cryo first beer they've got stuff for just generic molly pals cover plate carriers but i've got we'll take a quick closer look at this this specific adapter um, now, as I say, it takes the front panel on your first spear strand hog or any first spear 612 carrier. And it means that you can just take any Spiritus Micro Fight or the Haley Micro uh, or any placard. You know, there's tons from Velocity Systems, S Tac, all that good stuff. I haven't Velcroed it on just now, just to save all the Velcro noise. But you can see what it does. As a bit of background to this, the previous solution I had for the front of my strand hog was literally, this is just a Whiskey 2.4 backer. I had a dude sew some loop onto it and I had classic little thing, just a couple of one inch quasm buckles. You know, same thing and they, they went through. And all this mounted, and this was cheap and it worked perfectly fine. You know, get something like this, you can get a setup like this for maybe 30 bucks. If you're in the States, something like that. Um, and it's a good solution, you know, if that's what you want, go for it. Uh, when this came out though, and I saw the quality of the design and the manufacturer, I wanted to, to make a move and upgrade to the AXL option. You do pay a lot for this. It's uh, This is a $70 thing right here. I know, right? Um, 70 bucks. Why does it cost so much? At first, I really didn't understand it looking at the website. I was like, you know, I was looking at what I had and I'm thinking, why the hell is this little thing? Because they are, they only had a picture of the front when I first looked. And I was looking at it like, what the hell's going on here? And then when it actually arrived and I saw the back, then I realized where the cost for the materials and the, uh, the manufacturing and design has come from. Because uh, a lot of people think this stuff is carbon fiber. It's not carbon fiber. You can't sew through carbon fiber. It just splits. You can't do it. But this is a... Uh, a composite material. I don't know exactly what it is. It's extremely strong, you know, works in a wide range of temperatures, all that good stuff. It's up to military usage standards, as is all the thread, all the uh, Velcro that they've used, the buckles, the webbing. Uh, we can see, you know, like triple stitching up here. Try and get that on the camera. Uh, Velcro one wrap here for your cable routing. So yeah, this is this is absolutely to the standard of the plate carrier that you would fit it to in terms of manufacturing quality. How does that actually work? Well, this, this particular example is pretty cool um, and it shows how good the design that AXL is doing um, because the way it mounts to the first beer carrier, obviously the first beer carriers have all this loop on the inside that makes up the 612 and then on the back of the AXL piece, not only do you have all these tuck tabs, and they're gonna go into 
612 slots. But then also we've got hook Velcro to mate up with that loop on the inside. And as you can see, we got, I mean, on each side, there's one, two, three, four, uh, five, and that will go on the inside. There's like six points up each side. One, two, three, four, five, and then another six. There's like 18 points of attachment between this and the plate carrier. Um, you know, and then uh, the great thing about it is that even if you want to use a ferro panel um, or something else that uses G-hooks, I think the SKD ones maybe, the Systema, you can just take these one-inch buckles off and where there's a there's a loop in the webbing back here, you can hook the G-hooks through uh, on those uh, Ferro Concepts products. So you can attach an awful lot to this with this. As I say, it is expensive, but for these, you know, for these composite materials that weigh nothing, by the way, this thing is light as a feather. Um, that's kind of what you're gonna pay. Um, so I will attach this up. I won't show it on the video because it's just gonna be loads of me threading um, tabs and Velcro through the 612, but I'll attach this on and quickly show you how it looks. So as I predicted, it took a fair bit of effort to get this guy on here. Um, not too bad or anything, but it took a minute. However, this is not going anywhere now. This is basically a part of the rig. And uh, yeah, so it's good to go for mounting all your Spiritus microfights. Just line this up. There we go. Looking good. Um, as I say, you can remove the one inch buckles and there's a loop of webbing in just the right place for all your ferro placards as well. Haley Strategic, Velocity Systems, S-Tac, anyone who makes a placard with these one inch clips that's the right distance apart and it's got Velcro on the back, good to go for your first beer carriers and various other brands as I say. I have no association with AXL, um, but as I mentioned at the start, if I was doing gear, this is uh, the sort of thing I would be making to upgrade already very good plate carriers and add a bit more functionality to them and doing it in a very uh, professional high-end way. Uh, I'll link down to their website in the description box, of course, as you'd expect. Check out all the socials down there. I post on Facebook, Instagram and on full9.net a lot more than I do here on YouTube. Uh, so cheers for watching, guys. Uh, definitely consider the brand. I think they do good stuff. That's all I'll say on that one. And uh, I'll see you in the next video.